Hey guys, what's up? I'm refilming this. It's the high school experience video. Just because I didn't like the first take I did. So disclaimer, I just want to say I'm not throwing shade at anybody or uh, the school that I went to. If you knew, if you know me from high school, hi. Um, I'm probably not gonna talk about you, but just in case I am, I'm not giving the internet your names. So bear with me. For any student, for any teenager, high school and life is difficult during that period of their lives. But my high school experience was different than most typical teenagers only because I knew what I wanted to do with my life after high school which was do something in the entertainment industry that includes YouTube, making music. I knew what I wanted to do. I just didn't know how I was going to get there. So, and like typical teenagers, I didn't have my head up my butt. <laughs> you know who you are. Um... So, I'm just going to give you an, a rundown of what my high school experience was like. I'm going to give you the real truth. I was bullied or picked on during my time in high school. Even though I hate to admit it, most of, most of my high school experience was um, being ostracized and being picked on and being laughed at behind my back even if you d deny doing doing this stuff to anybody you probably did it once because I definitely did it a couple times to different people for different reasons and though they were not my friends because um, I would never do that to my friends um, so, this is what my high school experience was like. First, uh, not first, uh, freshman year was the beginning of a new era, a new stage in my life, a new stage in my classmates' life, lives, there, there we go, and we all just wanted to fit in. And I I always felt like I kind of fit in, fit in the majority of, of my friend groups I fit in. But ninth grade changed. It was where I switched, where I switch totally flipped um, to, oh, did you see Trisha today? Yeah, I, uh, you know, it, I don't know why I'm friends with her. Like, why are we friends with her? She can't do really anything. Why are we friends with her? You know, that type of thing. And I didn't really realize it till I looked around one day. And all my friends just literally left my, you know, side. And that was, that was hard on me. And, uh, it was really hard on me. And then, my so-called friends decided to pick on me, decided to make fun of me, decided to pull small pranks, small practical jokes on me, which I was fine with. Because I've been playing hockey, um... Six, maybe not not six years at that point, but I've been playing hockey a long time prior to that, and I knew um, what boys are typically gonna do to you in a, like a classroom setting. 
because I've grown up with 12 boys at a time on a hockey team that don't really give a crap about whether a girl can, you know, talk about whatever they want to. So, that was that. And then, 10th grade was when everything came to a head. And I'm not, and I'm not going to throw certain names out there, but I will say 10th grade was, oh my god. There was so much teen angst at, in my high school, or in my high school class at the time, and there was so much drama, there was, there was like, different things, there was stress, there was, there was hormones, you know, the typical teenage stuff, but like, But the one, but I was the one being picked on the most. I, I feel I I was kind of the old lady. I felt in some situations, I felt more crippled as the the non-informed people would say. I felt like more of the cripple than I had in previous years of just school in general. I felt more of the outcast because I've seen more of it. I've seen people la- laughing at me. I've, I've, I, I was aware of it. Most people don't know I was aware of it, but I, but I was. Um, and t- to those of you who stood up for me, I'd, I'd like to say thank you. For those of you who laughed in my face, who called me a loser, who called me a retard, F you! Alright. And then, <laughs> and then so, uh, sophomore year, junior year, junior year was one of my favorites because I had all my favorite favorite teachers again. I um, had my media teacher as part of my like a yearbook thing in years previous. So I was really happy to have him as a teacher junior year. Um, and then senior year, um, I had my I had piano and choir for the last year of my high school experience. Because I've I did choir for four years, and I did piano for one, media for one, and yeah, that was really cool. And I'd I'd like to say thank you to those teachers, to those classes that really made me feel like I was part of something really, really um, special. And I really, I thought I really ex- excelled at those things so I'd like to say thank you uh, to those teachers if you know who you are thank you for making your class fun and you know thank you for making me not feel like the outsider like most teachers did I (laughs) um, I definitely you know enjoy that so my high school experience wasn't typical but it definitely definitely wasn't bad. I mean, there were more worse days than good days for the, for me than the majority of my classmates. Um, but yeah, my high school experience was pretty, pretty, pretty weird. I mean, I was ostracized. I felt like I was ostracized. Part of it. And, you know, the people that noticed I was ostracized really took a, really took me under their wing, almost. 
and kind of made me part of their friend group. So I'd like, I, re I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, so that was my experience in high school. Now during this time, I had become, well, I had become more of a, more of a fanatic, um, more of a prominent force in the Arfai family. If you know who that is, shout out to you. You're awesome. And they, they, they've always been a part of my life, but they were really there when nobody else was. And that's why I love them so much is because they are always there like for you in one way or another. So that's why I love music. That's why I love their music so much is because yes, I, I, I find my situations in, in song lyrics a lot, but I also find um, this band very comforting and and very familiar. And if it wasn't for them, and if it wasn't for the suck people that chose to be friends with me, um, I probably wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. Thank you. Alright guys, and that was my experience in high school. Thank you guys so much for watching.